Oh, I guess I should put these on. Otherwise, you might not recognize me. Yeah, right. No, actually, you know, I joke about that. But what happens is, oh, they could do some cleaning. Okay, maybe you won't recognize me. Um, see, part of it is when people are used to seeing you in glasses, and you don't wear glasses, sometimes people don't recognize you at all. The same goes the other way, is if you're not used to wearing glasses and then you put them on, people may not recognize you. Some of you may be going, how can that be? Well, sometimes it just is. It's a trademark. In fact, remember when I first got my glasses? There's a lot of people that didn't recognize me. Right. They, only, they only recognized me because, of course, the other people I was with. Yeah, and mm. then she added um, uh, almost two foot of hair since we started out. And now people don't, they, they do, would not know her without her hair. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a big deal. So we actually do an awful lot of work on her hair. So how important is, let's see, part of it is, some of you may think this is a trademark or not a trademark, but changing something simple in your, in your life can make a total difference for people. It changes people's impressions, which is sometimes why women go from, what, blonde to brunette? Yeah. And they do notice a response. I guess, you know, Jennifer Aniston, who's used to, you're used to her blonde hair, and horrible boss, so she's a brunette. Yeah. I've had other friends that decided to just change it just for the fun of it. They go brunette, blonde, brunette. But it does change how people perceive you and respond to you. If you're not certain about that, try it yourself and see what happens. It destroyed Carrie Russell's career on Felicity. Oh, that's right, because she had longer hair and then she cut it. They cut it and it basically wiped her career out. Yeah, why did she cut it? Uh, because she didn't want to maintain that hairstyle. Or uh, I think others. Um, what was it? The, the the girl over on was married to Harrison Ford now did the same thing. Um, uh, Allie McBeal. Allie McBeal. Oh wait, changed, that's the name of her show. No, but, uh, Allie Felicia McBeal. Lockhart. Felicia Lockhart changed her hairstyle, and it, the TV series tanked with the hairstyle change. Oh really? It's something that little. I mean, uh, Errol Flynn, Errol Flynn with his mustache, Errol, uh, and another one, and uh, two people, uh, two people, other, Errol Flynn, Cesar Romero, and, um, and Vincent Price. Oh, really? All Even guys? Their guys, when the mustaches went, their careers suffered. Oh, really? So they never shaved, they put those mustaches back on. Uh, Cesar Romero, and Vincent Price even required that they wear their mustaches when they were doing um, uh, um, Batman, the TV series. Romero had his makeup put on so it covered his mustache, and then they, uh, they made certain that the mustache was wrote into the character on Batman for, uh, for Vincent Price. It was not there before for the character. The character comic book had no mustache, Vincent Price did, but he, had shaved his mustache off in the in the 40s to do some role, and there was static like you could not believe. Really? People bought, you know, Errol Flynn. I mean, where's Errol Flynn? That's well, not Errol Flynn. Right, because they don't associate it with that character. Yeah. And it does becomes as much of a part of a character. There's people like uh, Donatella Versace, who's had her long blonde hair. I think she's probably almost all of her life. Yep. Yeah. And that's be, that's her trademark, and I have a feeling I'm going to be having long no, black hair for a very long nope. time. No, it's just um, the the hair isn't as big a problem as those glasses are, though, because oh. this is the last go around for these glasses, and we got to find another set. Oh, that's true. Because remember last time I had the glasses, and I cha I changed them because what happened is these glasses have become a trademark. So I sent these in, and they had to like fit the glasses to the glasses, or fit the lens to the glasses. Um, and then I guess they stretch a little bit, so they will not last another no. one. No, and the glasses that she was using in the meantime, um, actually the glasses were almost a semi-disaster. People didn't like them, but she also found out they were bad for her eyes because uh, they didn't cover, they didn't, she, their transition lenses and they did not work. They didn't protect her eyes when she went out in the sun, so she got bad results. Oh, that was the other part I found out. Yeah. Because I've been wearing transition lenses for years, and I didn't realize that. Yeah, but it really showed up with those glasses, though, because she was wearing her sunglasses, which didn't work. But we're the hair. We the hair. We basically 
Okay, the hair we do play with. Most people don't realize that that hair is red. It looks black, right? Let's see. Her hair Can you really. Tell in there? When you see the hair moving back and forth, the individual things. Hey, folks, that 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 hair is red. Whether people notice it or not, there it is very red. We did that at um, what was the name of the people? That, Icon. I see Icon it. did that for her. They wanted to give her something to stay wearing. She's had red hair for three months now. Well, here's part of it. Is but what it is? They it's, did it, and I loved it. <coughs> but it is so red that it looks black. When you get it in, the, okay, if you put it up against something light or outside, you can see that it's red. I can see it with my eyes here. That it's not. It's not really black. It's red. But it is so perfect. But what happens is when you go so red that it looks black. A black rose is actually a really red rose. Mm. So, but it is, see, that's her. So, we've, we've basically changed her hair right under the eyes of everybody. We've kept it as long. We've also changed the cut on the bottom, too. So, whereas it before. But it, they're usually just subtle changes. Yeah. Well, it, it is subtle and it's not. I mean, part of it is when the, the camera is looking at it, unless there's a lot of light. It just looks well, like I have black the hair. camera doesn't see perceivable difference unless it's up against something outside with the sun shining through it, or you're wearing something white underneath it, mm -hmm. then the camera can see it. But it, for we guarantee you, folks, it is red. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, and it, it, and and honestly, we know that we we know that a good job has been done because most of the people like the hair. They don't know what. They don't know what's different. They, they just like it. They just like it. They don't know what's different. The difference is, it's red. Well, part of it is, is I was um, really hesitant to do anything because he, if you have really long hair, it means your hair has been on your head for a very long time, okay? And it also means that anything, because most of the time you see people that color hair, yeah. their hair is very dry. Yeah. Okay? But this was a color treatment, and actually, since I've had my hair colored, yeah. my hair's been in better condition. Yeah. And they, they had promised her because um, we were actually, what we were going to do is the Long Beach, we were doing NAB in a Long Beach Grand Prix, and they promised that, because we're talking, these are two sort of conservative type things, that, well, they could they would change the hair back for, which they, they could do. But the fact is, everybody liked it at NAB, everybody liked it at the Long Beach Grand Prix, so we have not changed since then. Because it's something... It was done so perfectly by the company. I mean, really good. Uh, I mean, they put, we've got it on tape. She's got to get it up so you can see it being done. But it was, they put a lot of effort into what they did. Mm -hmm. The woman was, the woman in charge is one of the, she used to be, you know, she didn't style it, she didn't do that anymore. But she's one of the biggest in the world that actually did mm -hmm. her hair for her. Yeah, they actually do their, their training for them around the world. Yeah, so it, um, uh, it was it, nice. It, like I said, we, we do things right in front of you. I mean, for, you know, like her weight changes in front of you. Her hair has changed since, uh, uh, actually it was um, April. About, um, it's it, before the NAB. That was probably in, about three weeks before the NAB. Yeah, it's been, this is when you, this so is being done, this is July. So it was done in Mar March. And April, May, June, like four months. Four months, and people have they remark about how great the hair looks, and they do not notice that it is red. Mm -hmm. We shot it. We went to Long Beach Grand Prix, and some of, and she was wearing a white shirt out there and a green stuff, and you could see that it was reddish. So, <laughs> but most people cannot um, can see. Uh, we've changed her hair right in front of everybody, and basically. We, we want to keep it this way because it really is a good look on her. Yeah, and it's made the hair better too. Because she did, um, you know, I mean, like right now I can see the, I can see it's red right now. Which and then you're like, oh, I need to brush my hair. I need to brush her hair. She likes to play with her hair a lot, folks, so. But no, it's just subtle changes. Like if you do things subtly, the glasses is our, like I said, hair is simple, the figure is simple, you know, Glasses are going to be our pain. We have not found anything to uh, duplicate those glasses. But we did go. We were told with the optometrist who was a who was a surgeon in the Philippines before he came here. 
and joined his family's optometrist, you know, thing. He told us, he told me, it doesn't make any difference what she picks. These are what she's going to leave with. She left with those. Mm -hmm. And we've had them retooled once, can't be retooled again. So it's just one of these things. She's, what is it, about, we're, we're within four or five months of having to get new glasses, period. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see, you know, we hope that people are going to like her new glasses. We're going to try to get something that they'll like. But we can't get this again. They don't like these things. I know. These are Versace. They're, you know, so um, you know, it just is. But I don't think we're, you know, we can. we've been into one, we actually have been into so many shops looking for 3D glasses that she goes and looks at the frames too because she, we, we're hunting. We, almost every time we go out and go buy glass places, she's hunting. And she'll know what she thinks is, because these are quirky set of glasses. If you look at them up close, there's multi, um, you know, the, there's, you know, different colors. It basically, it's a light frame around uh, dark sides, light frame, dark again. Mm -hmm. And it causes, it stands out on her face. So Yeah, because it's distinctive and it looks really well like in, well, design, art, entertainment. It looks, you know, fairly fashionable. Yeah. So it's, it's but You will change. It, it, it,